Okay, so the fishing spiders, their common name or the common name of this family comes from the fact that the largest members of this genus, like the dark fishing spider, are actually large enough that they can prey on small fish. And they have some remarkable adaptations that allows them to persist and hunt prey in these aquatic environments. They can actually go under the water and they can float on top of the water. They are using sensory hairs on their legs to detect prey, but they also have a pretty exceptional vision compared to other spiders because they don't spin webs. Now, obviously, this is a pretty large spider. In fact, I would say this is the largest spider that I have caught in North Carolina. And because they get pretty big and they can be kind of hairy and a little bit freaky looking, maybe tempting if you see one near your house to kind of, you know, maybe squash it or something. But there is no reason to be scared of these spiders. I'm literally holding this one in my hand. It is not biting me. It's not being aggressive, anything like that.